tell where a well-known story where he was used by the Philistines to be able to fight against the Israelites. We know the story well. One day, Philistines came. And so they were looking at each other with a belly with the milk. And daily, the Bible says, every day for 40 days, Goliath would come and he would shout across to the Israelites, whoever who is able to challenge me, come and fight with me in the valley. 40 days.
giant is a giant of sin and fear. It's a giant that none of us has any choice about to say, I don't want to face that giant. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll choose another giant. No. It's a giant that all of us will face, are facing, have faced in the past. And if we are not careful, that giant will also kill us. Just like giants in Bible times and throughout history have killed their enemies. Goliath, if David was not there, Goliath would have killed a lot of Israelites because none of them, none of the Israelites trusted God enough to be able to help them to fight that giant. We are looking at the story of the giants of sin and guilt. But Thank God we are told in the Bible, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, the Bible says, Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Some of us, there is something we have done in the past that makes us feel guilty. Some of us, because of some things we are probably currently doing, some of things we are thinking of doing, some things we are, we, are, we are thinking of doing. And so it can weigh our, our lives down, it can weigh our conscience down, and God, with our God-given conscience, will think, is God still going to answer my prayers? Will I be saved? Do I have any chance to eternal life? And so some have said, maybe I'm just good to be the firewood. Some have thought that way. Because they keep battling and falling. They keep trying and falling. They keep trying to overcome certain habits, certain bad habits, certain sins, and they keep falling. But the Bible gives us a promise tonight. It says, Thanks be to God who gives us a victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Not only that, but it also says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, we are told. This is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, what does he do? He hears us. In the Kerea Dunaka and Adana, a salvata kina no nangangri, Rabaka no kino yata. E romo di kerna, e saumana no damashu. In the Kerea Mua, the Kaukawa, the Rabaka no kino yata. Does God want us to overcome sin? Yes, he wants us to overcome sin. Why? Because he sent his son to come and to die for our sins. And so it would be a big waste of time, big waste of what he did with his son when he gave his son to die on the cross for us. So the mom and 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 the mom my one evil woman. Back in the Torah, this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears for us. When we wake up every morning, all of us have to make a decision. Am I going to give my allegiance to the Lord today or to Satan today? Now, I don't believe any of us chooses every day to, to say, I think I'll give my allegiance to Satan today. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Many of us may not say that. Many of us may not intentionally make the decision, but simply by way of saying, or, but simply by way of not saying, I'm going to give my allegiance to God today, you are laying yourself open to what? You are laying yourself open to Satan's attacks. And on the same the Morakin and the Mulu Morakalu and the Sina, and the Santo Lam Santuga and the Kantu Pamela, Rawan in my Rawati Kata of Munida, Rawan in my Mulu Kata of Munida, Rawan in my Kata of Munida. When we do not intentionally every day give our lives to the Lord, the Sina, and the Muna, by Suleki the Lemaka, we get the Munida, the Rana Kaliti was in him. What are the things that the devil gives us and it's part of our nature? Jealousy, what else? Anger, hatred, 
selfishness, disobedience, and sorrow, <laughs> death. These are things that sin does for us. These are also things that, that the devil wants to be a umbi kedakin, be a orohi kedakin. Now, can you tell me the devil may rawa ni, rawa ni makamalo malo kete kedakin, may rawa i kedakin. But thank God we have Jesus from our side. And so we don't have to be, we don't have to be slaves to sin. Sini kedi malo malo ne, sini sini ngan rebi min tuwa sa nakalu ngan na takawa. A simple faith. Lord, I want to, to, to give my life to you today. A simple prayer of faith. Obedience, joy, patience, love, gentleness, goodness, faith, peace, obedience. Those are things that, the devil, that, that God gives us when we give our lives to the Lord every morning. He can give us those blessings. And this is a reality for all of us. This is something that we need to remember all the time. And the Buddha was sitting in the Kavah, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 14. God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Mm -hmm. And so, because of this, as we did yesterday, all of us will. At some time in our lives, we'll come under judgment. Can the Kelly and the Bulletico and the Doranova and the Nayadukin and the Nayadanda men the Na Mayle Waita? We will all be judged. We will all be judged. Can I want to tell you how to Fear God and give him glory. There are three angels we find in Revelation chapter 14. The first angel give God and give glory. Fear God and give him glory for the uh, worship him who made the heavens and the earth. And then he says, For the hour of his judgment has come. And the bullet in my and so today we sit in judgment. You sit in judgment. I stand in judgment. All of us are under judgment. We will all be held accountable for how we have lived our lives. We will all be held accountable for how we have decided, what we have decided in relation to the invitation of the Lord to, to give our lives to Him. All of us. We not only, we don't have to wait until the coming of the Lord to say, is that the man on the ceiling of my village is on a plateau uh, in the mountains of Nandi, in Fiji. And so, when the hurricane, when hurricanes come, when I was growing up, when hurricanes come, it comes over the hills of the Korani to mountain range, it goes down the valley, and then when it goes up again, it hits my village. When it hits my village, many houses always forever gets destroyed every hurricane. And so that was during a time when there were only very few brick houses. Mostly Fiji and Bores, mostly corrugated roofing, uh, roofing irons, uh, corrugated iron homes. And so there have been many instances when people are inside their homes and the roof gets blown off and people say, What's I see any little ones? I have my book. When they tell their stories, when they have survived, they say, Man, I, was, I, thought, I thought last night was judgment day for me. It's not a 
See only the ones. Everyone. Who are you? They are aware that there is a single only one. They say it's a test. They are weak. They are not aware. They are not aware. They are not aware. They are not aware. They are not all of us, in our conscience, we know that one day we will give account of our lives. And that is true, because the Bible says we will all be given account to God, who has created us. God will bring everyone into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And we will give an account in relation to how we have responded to what Jesus has done for us. Mai nga 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 kwa 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 tishu mea nga kwa nga 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 Whenever the word of God is being preached Whenever we hear it on radio Whenever we see it on social media Whenever we see it on TV The word of God being preached Or a Bible study being held And we hear it We sit in judgment What are we judged about? We will be judged over our response to what is being taught. And what is that? When the word of God is being taught and when Jesus is being taught. The biggest giant all of us have, all of us will face, will ever face, is the giant of our sin. The Bible says, all of us have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And the Satamati Barola da Kene, sending the wicked there, the Raka Barola da Kene. Can one of you? Can they do any food? Norma Rama, Dona Turana, the Roman Eleo, all of us. All of us have sinned and we have all fallen short of the glory of God. Which means we ought to die. The wages of sin is death. You don't mean a man. So, wait a minute. You don't mean a man. But the good news is that God has come and has died for us. And so every day, we sit, we make a decision every day. We like to give my life to the Lord or not. Okay? You got an attack and burn your lead job? Awak nak suli anak bulan bulan turun? Ia, soal waktu tu lewa, rawan yang kemain, rawan yang lomol lomol lagi. Awak saya tak kau makan aku, awak ini semua bulan turun. Maybe I'll try and delay my decision for the Lord. Let me follow something else. Maybe next year I will do that. Make the decision. Maybe an opportune time. Let me enjoy this this way first, and then I'll come to the Lord. They will know that that will happen later. Not that big deal. The Ronona and the Dow Nanuma. I was at the Kaman the Shomaka in Bernier Lakuma in one of the run. Then the Kerr and the Kaman Sakaut and the Tik on the Ruku in the Villa one. We are all under judgment. Yep, a source of the Villa of the Santa Villa of the 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 Villa Kau kau tak kau itu, kau tak kau tak lama pasal sana rumah. Oh, kau sah sini di luar. Kau ni bermain sini luar, kau bermain mana orang sana lewat yang kita nak kau. And so it becomes a, it becomes a giant. Yang tu metua, mana beli luar. And tu apa yang kita nak kau buat orang musnah kalau dia berusia sekitar seribu sembilan ratus dua puluh lima, he is able to to save them to the animals that come unto God by him. Rawan ibu bapa mereka tu, berdua sekarang kaya dah tuki. Nasib ni dua, sah polisi biar orang berbual tak, biar sentral ibu bapa mereka tu, nombor dua yang dah tuki. So ada lagi tak kerana kami pelik kerana kami agak berbeza dengan mereka. Some people worry about the future. To those who worry about the future, what does the word of God say? Genesis 28 verse 15. I am with thee and will keep thee in all places wherever thou goest. Nombor dua malu kita. So we don't have to worry about our future. We don't have to worry about what will happen to me next year or the following year. I can make small decisions today, 
But if I'm making these small decisions, small hopes, we saw yesterday, with a bigger hope in mind, we make these small decisions in view of what will happen in the future, we don't have to worry. The Lord says, I am with thee and will keep thee in all places. If troubles are our giants, what does the Bible say? Psalms 46 verse 1. Psalms 46 verse 1, the promise is God is our help in times of trouble. When we face troubles of many kinds, we don't have to worry, we don't have to be discouraged, we don't have to run away. Bible says God is our help in times of trouble. Is our giant something we are worrying about? Many of us we worry about different things. We worry about our children, we worry about our parents, we worry about sickness, we worry about our, uh, our exams, we worry about our relationships, we worry about our bank accounts, we worry about our jobs, we worry about our properties, we worry about our loved ones. We have a lot of things we worry about. To that giant, the Bible says, Psalm 55 verse 22, cast your burden unto the Lord and he shall sustain you. And the slave of one alone, and the Lord, like alone, and a man will return, and a work will go together. The Tikkun na mga titika, no tanga na tuwa wale mo mo, na mga titika. Sometimes we doubt whether God loves us. Sometimes we doubt whether God hears our prayers. Tuwa mga nakain na nakama, na mga nakama, sa mga nanuma, sa mga nanuma, sa mga nanuma, sa mga nanuma. I have loved thee with an everlasting love. I have loved thee with an everlasting love. So we don't have to doubt that, that the Lord will stop loving us or that the Lord will stop answering our prayers or the Lord will stop hearing our prayers. I have loved thee. See, this is not sins, plural, this is sin, singular, which is, we are talking about our nature, not the bula yuvala All of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So to this giant of sin, what does 1 Corinthians 15, 57 say? Thanks be to God who gives me victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Our thoughts, maybe our words, maybe our behavior, Maybe the way I do my job, I continue to do some things that are wrong. Maybe some old habits I have, and I fall into those habits. Maybe some new habits I develop, I, I find over time, and I fall into those. What does the Bible say? He can give us a victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So we don't have to keep falling over, keep being, being defeated by sin, because God has promised that he will give us a victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. This Bible promises should give us hope. And we don't have to be weighed down by guilt and sin. Simple Bible promises. That the Lord has said, I will give you hope. And he says, when he says in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, I have, I have good plans for you. Plans to give you, give you what? Give you hope. Give you prosperity and a future. When we know that, talking about somebody who is in university, somebody who is in college, when he knows that his tuition has been paid, not only to the end of the year, but for the full two years or three years, he's in university. He has, she has hope. She knows. 
My tuition is big. I don't have to worry about my tuition. I can do my studies without worrying about where my tuition will come from. I, I'm currently uh, assisting with one uh, uh, of my nieces with her tuition. And I thought to myself, I wish when I was studying, I wish that I had a sponsor who could sponsor me for, to the end of my studies. And so I had to work to be able to pay for my tuition in my undergraduate years. Hope. God says, I want to give you hope and a future. I have better plans for you. I want to give you hope and a future. And so, hope, when we are weighed down with guilt and sin, the Bible says, Jesus said, come unto me, all you who are a weary and a one, and a heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That's God's promise to us. And so this evening, we can bring our burdens to Him. We can come to Him with our sins, with our habits, with what we fall with, with our worries, with our doubts, with our fears of the future or fear for the judgment, whatever it is that we can, we can bring it to the Lord and He will not only direct our path, but He will carry our burdens for us. My prayer is that the Lord will help each one of us and anyone else who may be listening in, each one of us, that we will never, we don't have to be carrying the burdens of sin, but that we will always bring our sins and our problems and our guilt to the Lord.